Welcome to my weekly roundup of what I've been up to in Hackney and Westminster. Well, Parliament wasn't sitting this week, but the Prime Minister was speaking at his party conference. And in a speech full of bluff and bluster, he denied a cost of living crisis in the UK on the very same day that his government cut £20 a week from universal credit. And 60% of those affected by the cut are in work, but in work so low paid, they need a top up from benefits. And six out of 10 of all UK single parents will now have £20 a week less in their pocket as a result of this unacceptable cut. I was delighted to join many Hackney luminaries at a Black History Season event to open the new public space in Hackney outside the Britannia Leisure Centre, Braffa Square, named after the British reggae artist's famine appeal, which was set up to rival Live Aid when Live Aid, frankly, ignored black musicians and black music's contribution. And it was fantastic to see that wonderful square and meet so many of those talented musicians and have them recognised for their contribution to Hackney and the UK. When we come back to Parliament, we'll be fast approaching COP26, the vital international climate change conference. And ahead of that, on the 20th of October, I'm hosting a round table for constituents so we can discuss the issues that we want to see raised there. And I really want to thank Libby, who sent me this canary as part of a craftivist collective campaign to remind us of the importance of COP26. Just as miners used canaries to warn them of impending catastrophe, so COP26 is the canary in the mine for our planet. It's vital we secure international agreements on climate change and how we're going to tackle it so that we can have a cleaner and greener planet.